Alright, in this video we're going to look at another example related to acceleration. So, so here we've got the position of a particle on a number line. It's given by p of t equals t to the third minus 2t plus 1. Um, t is in seconds and p is in centimeters. We want to know what the acceleration of the object is when t equals 4. Okay, so here we're going to have to take a couple derivatives because remember if we're given position, if we take the derivative of position we actually get an equation that tells us about velocity. So if we take the derivative of t to the third, we'll get 3t squared. Uh, the derivative of negative 2t will just be negative 2, and then the constant plus 1. Uh, when we take the derivative of that, we'll just get 0. But again, this is the equation that tells us velocity. So if we take the second derivative of position, or equivalently, the first derivative of velocity, that's going to give us our acceleration function. And if we take the uh, derivative of 3t squared, we'll just get 6t to the first power. And then our negative 2, will, uh, when we take the derivative of that, that'll just become 0. And now all we have to do, we just want to figure out the acceleration of the object when t equals 4. So we'll just plug 4 into our function. So we'll have 6 times 4, or that'll give us 24. Um, in the units here, we'll use centimeters per, so we started with seconds, we use centimeters per second uh, squared. And those are the units that go with acceleration. So um, again, whole idea in this one, if you start with position, you just have to take two derivatives to get down to your acceleration function.